Okay. Here is also the unfinished uh, matching pair to the one I showed you downstairs. This was the male version, but let me show you how letters were stored in letter boxes. So as you can see, these are letters that, um, well, we wrote back and forth to each other. And I've kept them in this letter box, which I made. <laughs> uh, kind of make them out of reclaimed material that means something to the other person. So in this case, there were some things that she and I were really into, and so we made letter boxes out of the material from that thing. Uh, a chair and a table, you can probably tell. Um, and I think it has elements of an old um, headboard uh, in there as well. But the two together um, were a set, and half the letters actually should be in the one down below and the other half in here. But if we look again, you can tell where the ones I wrote are in the blue uh, letters, uh, the blue envelopes back there, and the ones she wrote are in the front half. And you might ask, why do I have them both? Well, I asked for them back. Yes, that too is real. Uh, sometimes, you know, you believe something is different than it actually is, and you put a lot of energy into something, and you are so disgusted by it, the only thing you want out of the situation is, you know what? Give me those letters back that meant so much that it turns out we're all based on a lie, and lying is not good. So, those are what letter boxes are, and uh, I'll be happy to make you some. I'll make you a pair, a set. I uh, had a couple come to me once. Their father died, and they wanted to make uh, use their dining room table to make um, letter boxes for the five siblings. They all had gathered around that dining room table in their parents' house for years, and when their mother died, I think about a year after their father, um, they decided they would keep their ashes, but they each wanted uh, letter boxes, or in this case, condolence boxes. I don't know what you would call them. But anyway, I made ten boxes. <laughs> Two for each, um, uh, what do you call it, child. And it held their ashes. They were smaller boxes, but um, it did the job. They were happy, and to this day, each kid has a, uh, a matching set of boxes for mom and dad that are from the table, but each unique. As you can see, back to... The other one down here, um, this one had the handle, and if you notice, the rails here were made silver, whereas mine were made of copper. Um, and uh, the, the detailing I left sort of um, naked because I wanted it to have sort of an old-time feel, a bit of a rough sawn feel. So that's very intentional. Um, I just have to do some staining and some sanding and uh, some bonding in certain spots, but... Uh, Otherwise, it's pretty much roughed in. Um, anyway, 